You have lost. The circle is complete. No, Bella, no! <laughs> the Nidus, source of all my powers, has split into five pieces. But Bella has already denied me possession of four parts. Unless every fragment is regained, I shall eventually grow weaker and die. They can only be seen in reflection. Find the five pieces of the Nidus. Bring them to me. Ooh, it's like an oven in here. Somebody's breeding mosquitoes. Hey, where's Phil? What was that? Giant fly swap. Come on, Phil, must be somewhere around here. Hey, don't idle, children. It's time to take food and drink to the Knights of St. John. Come along. Eh, if the, in the infidel cannon will never destroy the walls of Bergu, the Grand Master made them too well. No, if the Turkish hordes think to defeat the Maltese, they will need to starve us out. Ah, Maria, did you add a little wine to the water to make it more palatable? Yes, my lady, to feel. Here, boy, and remember, only one piece and one cup from each. And you, child, take that to the Grand Master. He's in the upper chamber. The upper chamber? Yes, yes, on your way. And be swift about it. There are many more to feed. Yes, my lady. Helen? Terry? Where are you? Oh, the rationing's good. Come, boy. Uh, are you the Grand Master, sir? I am, mademoiselle. And who are you? My name's Helen. I was told to bring this to you. What do my valiant soldiers eat? Bread, sir, and watered wine. Then I shall eat and drink no differently. Take this back to the Lady Tufia and tell her I'll see her presently. Yes, sir. Grandmaster! Sir Hugo de Roth! Go? Hmm? No, child. Uh, Hugo de Roth, uh, Knight of St. John. Here in Malta to serve my Grandmaster Jean Perisot de Lavalette uh, in this great siege. Which may soon be ended, my noble friend. How much longer can we endure with these meager supplies of food and water? Brackish water at that. Uh, we'll last out until aid comes from Sicily. Aid has been promised these past three months, and so far nothing. Meanwhile, the Turkish fleet continues to bring a Pasha's army fresh supplies from the Levant. Mademoiselle, do as I bade you. Yes, sir. Ah. Oh, the old wound troubles you still, eh? Hinders me, Sir Hugo. I cannot fight in ten places at once, as you did just before the fall of St. Elmo's Fort. Oh, did I? It was reliably reported to me. It was a reliable exaggeration. I am old and my strength is waning. Age is an attitude of mind, mon ami. Still, we must carry out our Christian duty. If we fail here, Islam will take the entire Mediterranean. Christendom itself will be under attack. The Turkish army will not stop at Malta. Oh, yes, they will. We'll fight the infidel to the last drop of his blood. Well said, mon ami. Come, let us share the crust of bread and the goblet of water. Uh, and may it not be the last. Yes. 
did you not find the Grand Master? He said he'd eat what the soldiers eat. Oh, but I put that food by especially. It would have made no more than a day's difference to our supplies. One day's rations could mean victory or defeat, my lady to fear. How often must I tell you I want no privilege not accorded to my soldiers? I stand rebuked, Grand Master. Is this the soldiers, Fair Maria? It is, Grand Master. What ration? One piece each, one cup of water. Help yourselves as you go. Thank you. Young man, water. Yes, sir. Uh, with courage sufficient, Sir Hugo Malta would be unassailable. It's sort of a masterstroke. We must fight to the last man. Here's to the army from Sicily. Will they come? I fear the Duke of Sicily is apprehensive of the Turks. Well, even more reason for him to come and see how we've matched them, eh? <laughs> my duties here are done, Lady Tophia. May I be about my other responsibilities? Of course, Maria. Supposed to be three of you. Where's your companion? We don't know. We've got to split up, Rothko. Call me Sir Hugo. Oh, he must be lost, Sir Hugo. We'll find him. The fifth part of the Nidus is here somewhere, and Bellor shall not have it. Your janissary, Hassam Ali, found this unworthy creature in one of the outer walls of Birgu. Shall I dispatch him to the gallows as a slave? Bello! Silence, dog! There is no strength in this Christian dog for the galleys, great pasha. Within a week, he would be thrown overboard. Approach, slave. Mm. You counsel me well, Salema. When the great Mustafa Pasha speaks, you kneel before him or lose your head. Are you a Christian? Yes. Yes, I am. Great Pasha? I am Great Pasha. How many years do you have? Fifteen, Great Pasha. Are your parents behind the walls of Birgu? No, Great Pasha. They are very far away. Dismiss them from your thoughts. You will never see them again. His eyes are quick and his intelligence keen, Salima. Take him to your tutorage, Hassim Ali so that he may one day stand as you do, a janissary. Of what, Great Pasha? Silence, Christian dog! How are you called? Philip, Great Pasha. There was another Great Pasha here, too, known to all as the drawn sword of Islam. His name was Dragut. He was struck down at St. Elmo's fort of wretched memory, less than two months past. So in praise of Allah, I shall rename you Dragut Ali. Take him. Make your salam to the Great Pasha. What news of my enemies, Salima? They starve, Great Pasha. Rely upon it. A crust of bread and a cup of water is each Christian's meagre fare. They have no hope of help from Sicily. They could not withstand another attack. I thought that of the fort of St. Elmo. Yet they withstood my janissaries for 31 days. Each Christian life spilt the blood of seven Islamic warriors. If so small a fort cost so dear a price, would price the larger Castile of Birgo. No, I will not attack yet. Let them starve for a while. But I have a device to destroy their morale. A tower higher than their walls. 
A tower set on wheels from which my janissaries can fire down upon them without fear of reprisals. Now that you know my thoughts, Salimar, use your spies to keep me informed of Valette's activities. <laughs> Those fiendish infidels have wheeled a wooden tower against our walls. Their marksmen shoot down on us unopposed. We must destroy it. But how? To venture outside would mean certain defeat. Set fire to it, Grandmaster. Not possible. The walls are hung with leather kept permanently wet. Grandmaster, the wall is breached. I tell her once. I at your side, Grandmaster. No, Sir Hugo. Only your intelligence can defeat that tower. Stay here and dwell on it. Rothko. Your little friends are separated forever. The Dark One is trapped. You are weakened by failures, Rothko. Not as weak as I may seem. I can still get the fifth part of the Nidus. But first you must find it. I have all the advantages, Rothko. While you are locked here in futile thought, I can come and go as I please. <gasps> Out, wretched creature, out, I say! I have important things to deal with! You see? How ungainly for one who once held more subtle means. I dispatched you once, I shall dispatch you again, you awful woman! No! <laughs> Hugo, fetch me water for this noble knight. Here, boy, help me. Oh. Oh. oh, what ails you, Sir Hugo? This oppressive heat. Indeed, it mm. is, Mom. He accepts as it will restore you. <laughs> Stay with Sir Hugo, child. See that he rests and give him to drink as he needs. Come, boy. You and I will continue with our task. Rothko, what happened? That dreadful Bellar caught me unawares. So you've seen her? She knows where Phil is. She taunted me, saying that you children were separated forever. What can we do? I must regain power and weaken her. What's she done with Phil? I fear he's in the Turkish camp. And I well know what they do with Christian prisoners. When the siege is won, you will be taken to Constantinople, and from there to Asia Minor, where you'll be subjected to a severe training, to abstinence, privations, and the strictest disciplines a man can endure. But when it is done, you'll be one of us, the Janissaries, proud of our place in Islam's army, and ready at all times to accept the most dangerous and difficult tasks. They'll probably make him a slave. Or worse. I have to try and get to him. How? We'll get killed if we try and step outside this place. We've got to find the fifth piece of Nidus. We ought to stay with Rothko. No time for idling children. Take that sack to the bakery. This way. This isn't the way. Terry, we're trapped. <laughs> Yeah, and we know who Bella is now, don't we? Where is he? He's too weak to have gone very far. Ah! Oh. 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 May I assist you, madam? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh. Maria! Oh. The wall is gone. Something must have happened to her. And Rothko must have done it. Come on! This abominable heat affects us all. Not an hour ago, I found Sir Hugo prostrate upon the ground. Is that not so, Sir Hugo? Uh, oh, quite true, Lady. Um... Come, I shall assist you to the women's quarters. Yeah. How did you do it? Huh? You see? <laughs> Small creatures can inflict great damage in the right place. We must find Phil. By the Crusades, I have it! How to find Phil? How to destroy the Infidel's Tower. In the right place! Oh, it's a masterstroke! Oh, Sir Hugo, sometimes you astound me! Grandmaster! Grandmaster! What's happened, Sir Hugo? 
I know how to destroy the Imperial's power. Praise be. How? Oh. Uh, from within the Castile. From within? Are you quite recovered from the heat, so you go. <laughs> well, you see, the Turks are trying to breach our walls from the outside. Well, we'll breach one from the inside. The wall next to the tower. And within that breach, we'll place a cannon with chain shot and blow away the base of the tower. It's only made of wood, so the whole structure will collapse at once. <laughs> we'll do it now, at once. <laughs> destroyed by those Christian dogs. How destroyed? A double by chain shot, Great Pasha, and then set on fire. The curs. By Allah's beard, I'll defeat them yet. And though every genissary to the last will gladly sacrifice his life for you, Great Pasha, the troops become more reluctant to attack. Where is Salama with her council and her spies? A broad great partial in your service. Salama counseled that Bergu could not withstand another attack, that all within his walls were starving. Go and see Hassan Ali. Go under a flag of truce and parley with that pig Lavalette. Offer him honorable terms of surrender. Say that he and his knights may retire from the island without further bloodshed. We shall acquaint our heathen guest with Christian hospitality, my lady to fear. But, Grand Master, we barely have enough to feed ourselves. Serve only the best, and copiously. Open our last cask of French wine and pour generously. Very <laughs> well, Grand Master. Let them pass. What does Mustafa Pasha want of me? And the great Pasha offers you all a free and unhindered passage from Malta to Sicily. <laughs> we are grateful to the great Pasha for his generosity, but my brethren and I have no wish to quit this sunny island. It would be wiser for you to spare further bloodshed. It was not Christian blood that was spilt at St. Elmo. But soon it shall be in abundance unless you accept the great Pasha's offer. We are not easily intimidated. But enough of these to be allergies. Time for refreshment. Young man, a goblet of France's finest red wine for Hassamani. Mademoiselle, food. My lady, do fear, is this the best we can do for our guest? I fear so, Grandmaster. Uh, my apologies for the paucity of the fair Hassamani, but we've been living under this irritating siege for three months now. Do you expect me to be tricked by this? To pretend to have such rich food in quantity? We are not yet reduced to bread and water. By next spring, we may have to consider rationing, but by then, most of a Pasha shall be gone. You make light of your true position. Most of a Pasha came to Malta with 40,000 men, and what has he to show for it? One fort taken at enormous cost after one month's siege. Well? The Pasha has the piece of lighters on him. The Pasha? I'm not sure where. Could be one of his rings or jewels, or perhaps in the careful, my boy. I sense that our enemy is listening. I offer the great Pasha free and unhindered passage back to Constantinople. Inform him that the Knights of St. John and the gallant Maltese people shall never surrender. These walls shall be breached, and the tide of Genesis will sweep through. Then shall your dead dam up that breach and turn back your tide. Tell your master that. Come, Bragutali. Where shall I go? Mm. Bravo, bravo, Grandmaster. Must have a passion will not be very pleased with your reply. He will make one more determined bid to storm the Castile. And he will fail yet again. Return home, Christian. Father's bones may Allah give them peace. I shall take the accursed Castile, and all there shall be put to the sword, all save one, the Grand Master, Jean Perisot de Lavalette. He I shall take to Constantinople in chains, and there before all Islam, I, Mustafa Pasha, shall behead him. I offered peace and was refused. I know, Great Pasha. Now I'm impatient to be master of those walls. And you shall, Great Pasha. How? Tell me how, Salama. Not in front of the unfledged Great Pasha. <laughs> you speak the truth, Salama. He is yet to earn his plumes. You are dismissed from our presence, Dragodali. Go to your chamber. 
Go! What is your counsel, Salema? Would an army of 3,000 men inside their walls assure your victory? Half that number, Great Pasha, were the Janissaries. But if defeated, such a loss would be impossible to bear. I would be forced to withdraw from Malta. Great Pasha, let me lead the assault on the walls, and I will bring you victory. I did not speak of an assault on the walls, Hassam Ali. I said within the walls. Within? How? There is a route. Through the breached outer works and tunnels. You know of it? I do indeed. I have traveled it myself. This will place me and my Janissaries inside the Castile? In the very heart. Cut it out with this. My scimitar. Oh, great Pasha honors me. I shall call the Janissaries to arms. This night there will be a famous victory, Salamar. Thus, and thus, and thus, will Birgo's wars be reduced by Great Pasha Simita. May I come with you, Hassan Ali? Into the Castile? But you do not have the skills of a Janissary. But I have the courage of oh, one. Oh, it is not enough, Dragut Ali. No, await my return here. After we have taken Birgo from within. From within. Your Janissaries are ready to attack Great Pasha. May Allah strengthen your arms. Put all to the sword, save La Valette. As Great Pasha commands. Great Pasha, has Dragodali been sent on some mission? No. Was something wrong? Only that I told him to await me in his cubicle. He's not there. I shall discipline him on my return. Do that, Hassan Ali, upon your victorious return. For that is what it must be. Or all is lost. open the tunnel so that the Turks can get through. And there's an army on its way. The Grand Master must be warned. Without delay, on the Nidus. It's in the Pasha's scimitar. The Grand Master's on the ramparts. Warn him of the attack at once. In the Pasha's scimitar, eh? Show me the entrance to this tunnel. Right. On. This way, lads. sent it on Belor. Now neither of us have it. For the moment, Rothko. But I still have four pieces. And I still have some respite. To grow weaker, Rothko. To defeat you, Belor. Rothko, we've lost it. Hmm? Yes, well, so has Belor. There's still a chance. He 
mustn't give up now, children. You must fight on together. Onward!